What I like about this step conference is it's a combination of tech, startups, investors, uh, those in media, offline and online, all coming together uh, across uh, different platforms and different topics. And it's a good way to catch up with those in your, in your network and in your industry uh, in one location uh, across uh, two days. I also like the musical aspect that they have where uh, it, 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 it gives a nice uh, spin to the day as well as the, the evening functions. Uh, the organizers have asked me to mentor startup uh, during the event, so I have uh, uh, startup sessions where I answer questions about uh, how to acquire customers, how to, uh, how to build a business process to scale, um, how to build your internal team, what to look for when raising funds. So those are key aspects that, that, uh, that tend to come up uh, from the startups I look at. To really benefit from STEP is to have a list of people that you want to meet in advance and to reach out to them. Uh, either via the step app or your usual communication channels of email, WhatsApp, Instagram. I, I tried to do that, uh, some of that myself before the event, but uh, you know, uh, I did some of that not as much as I should. But that was also a good way for me to have a uh, have a busy day outside the mentor mentoring sessions. In addition, just just walking around and meeting people who have been in the industry. Uh, I would also recommend the evening functions because uh, they tend to be music filled and fun. Plus, the same folks that you might have missed here, you're able to see them at the event and, and meet and meet new people so it's it's a way uh, to connect with them what where to start where to start basically okay. to start. your interest your your main interest my anna is acquiring customers yeah. so yeah. very good and you have two ways to do it now and you can b2c or b2b b2b not as the like internet or facebook or instagram or b2b b2b is yeah. into reaching out to Finish it with uh, how did you meet that person via Hanan Ashabek? B2C, Facebook, Instagram, and Google. Okay. Digital ads. Bishahir. Show that Masari. I talked to founders, I have to You have two options either going directly to the brand for them to buy or rent your, 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 your humanoid computer or a uh, uh, humanoid robot or you go to the agencies that manage that that manage those uh, that, that, those brands so what i would leverage when you communicate with either the agency or the uh, uh, or the brand itself is i quickly say i did this for the if you're doing please say i did this in or, or in uh, and so and so so go after the same ones that you've done work with here and bring that up very early that we've done this for this brand and this brand and this brand. Uh, what the investor will care about is how many bookings you have per day. Oh, okay. so, 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 so you need to have those numbers very clear. very clear. We have X number of bookings per day. The average is booking is this much. Okay. Uh, the return rate, if any, because in your business, I'm not sure there's enough return rate or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the gentleman next to me is someone you need to approach if you ever need a wake up call or a reality check <laughs> regarding your business. Easy way to say is he's a consultant and he consults specifically with startups, but I think the advice is a little bit more universal in its approach. Anybody can apply it. At Step Conference, you're here as a mentor. A lot of the government uh, corporate programs that I do uh, is I help prepare the startups to match with corporations, to match with government programs and so on. Yes, so a lot of the work I do is I spend time with the founders, helping them prepare their pitches for it to make sense to their audience, whether it's a government accelerator or a corporate partnership.